No, you are not awake yet. You are still drowned in this mire of meditation. Sticky, swampy, and dark. Memory. Good try. The logic you pride yourself on continues to serve you properly. It allows you to make some good deductions here, like a biologist analyzing the cause of a humpback appearing in a swamp. But the answer will disappoint you, unfortunately. This is just a dream, an illusion they shoveled into your head. These people are very familiar with using coercive power. A group of people in gowns. Their gowns are made of white polyester and are over knee length. There are seven, namely number one to number seven. Probably only those odd number guys are here. Or maybe number four or six is also with them. Damn it, I don't care. What matters is that your classmate is among them. No, not the gentle and loyal one who always stands by your side. It is the other one. The one with indifferent outlines that makes her look like a refined machine. Let's skip her first name and only pay attention to her glorious family name. Like what most people did. Like sherry cask whiskeys to the alcoholic. Upman cedar aged Robusto Cameroons to smokers. And the Mesmers to the Arcanus. Anything mystical. When they sit there and point at you with an iron stick, you'll pass out. When they put an iron ring around your neck, you'll feel burnt. You must be familiar with all these freaky tricks, because you are surrounded by freaky tricksters. Like that little girl who protects others with her glass-dipping pen, or that floating apple dancing in the air. The Mesmers know how to suffocate the flames of consciousness. They help you free-fall internally to the bottom of the abyss, as you are now. It's really hard finding an Arcanist who can freely master such skill. As you know, scarcity causes tragedy. That was the start of her nightmare. When the child labor law was turned into a piece of wrinkled paper to wrap the sandwich. The young daughter of the Mesmer family was led to a room when she was twelve. Before she stepped in, she had sensed the messy magnetic field on the other side of the door, thanks to her acute perception. Compared to humans, Arcanists are much more emotionally vulnerable. It won't take much to overwhelm them and force them to regress to animals. The Mesmers are merciful and professional. They will never turn away any patient who comes to them for treatment. By then, you should realize the wrapping paper was never protecting the sandwich, but the hand. The mustard from an unknown bottle, the squeezed meatloaf and rusty lettuce leaf. All were crushed and fell out from between the bread. Just like the chaotic noises and the raspy screaming that fill her ears. This filth contaminated the little girl's hands and corrupted the white polyester. Hmm. It is indeed a good time for silence. Now you've noticed those exposed wounds on the machine. Those marks from repeated washing and adjustments. Well... The traumata from childhood is usually hard to forget. Those memories are engraved in our heart and run through our veins. Eventually, they contaminate every single neuron with mucus snot. Since then, every inch of growth is an extension of pain. New bones will be eroded and the condition 
can't be cured by cellular renewal. Both you and her are familiar with this. Okay, take your suitcase. Now it's time. Get lost. I can't agree. I saw it. Oh, I can't agree more. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. Extraction of the ring. Fine. Which matters more, knowledge or strength? still there. She didn't put it down, right? She didn't. <sighs> she is nice. Unlike the bad potion instructor who turned my books into a puddle of mud. Oh, right. Guess what I found today? Here. Give me your hand. Look. The foreteller of the rain. The Hyloraborium. I caught it through the school's front gate. I even got stung by the electric fence when I took my hands back. It keeps croaking in my pocket. Look, it's still raining outside. Aren't you aware that you've been given a timeout, Miss Burton? Huh? I don't understand why you always skip classes. You know that we are not supposed to pay too much attention to affairs outside the school. Please, don't bring me these pebbles and frogs anymore. These are... meaningless. We are born to die martyrs. Why? Just because the student handbook says so? That's right. 
I don't like the handbook. It smells like those stinky socks in the attic. Sonato, aren't you really curious about what is outside the school? You were also in that parade outside the school before. The pebbles, the frogs, the attic with stinky socks. They're just a teeny tiny part of the whole world. I once met a girl who came to our school. Please, please stop. These are very dangerous things. The student handbook is protecting us. It is protecting us from harm and regrets. As the instructors have told us, to live is to lose things around us until the day we lose life itself to death. That's why we should only focus on the supreme missions. Until the day we lose life itself. To death. Now it's coming, my lord. What? Don't forget my heart. Oh. Oh. Failed. Our dramatic segment has been reactivated. Increase the power, stabilize our psych cube. Try the next dream. The artificial somnambulism therapy may not work on her, Mesmer. Hmm? You're here, Madam Z. All patients who have the symptoms of stress disorder need to receive treatments in the rehabilitation center. Her trauma level was assessed as a type 2. I'm needed to take responsibility for her health. Back in the year when she became the timekeeper, she didn't receive any treatment. I know her well. She has enough power in her to make it through. I'm just following orders, madam. It is the committee's direct order to treat Fairton. If you have anything to say, convince the vice president first. <sighs> she hasn't had any food for days. Gave her a glucose injection. I have a meeting later, so if you would excuse me. I did expect you would have learned your lesson in such a long time. Timekeeper. No. I'm more used to calling you Fairton. I have changed. Have you? Are you still suffering from those pointless things? <laughs>